Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. Let's continue playing as the New California Republic in the Old World Blues mod for Hearts of Iron 4. So, right now we're currently still in a war against the, um, Val, Val Bandits. The Bandits down here in Baja, California. So, uh, that's pretty easy. So, I've pretty much got a better understanding of the land auctions at the moment. And I've been recommended to go with conventional warfare. Sounds like a good idea. Apparently, no one or people wouldn't advise me to take asymmetrical warfare. Totally cool. Totally fine. Um, maybe for another campaign someday with a different faction, maybe. But conventional warfare is for us. Uh, let's see. We have another research slot available for us. Uh, militia training isn't bad. I will tell you that I've thought about what I'm going to do in this campaign. A plus zero. Oh, they get upgrades to marshes. Wow, 50% attack and defense, holy crap. But what my initial thoughts are for what I'm going to do. Planes training, actually. Um, so, basically, because of everyone... Actually, well, let me check out the terrain here first. This is mostly hills, right? Oh, it's desert. Oh, God. That's, that's desert. That's mountain. Mostly because we might be getting engaged with... Uh, the Scorpion faction over here soon enough. Scorpion Nation. Deserts and stuff like that. And I really want to make sure that my Spec Ops or Ranger companies are really good. The Rangers. So basically, I'm convinced that, you know what, let's try to make the Rangers as best as possible in this playthrough. I'm not going to completely ignore power armor and stuff like that, but I think I want to go with Focusing very heavily on rangers and conventional warfare. So we have support companies for support companies I really don't know what is best. There are so many though. I heard those signal companies are not bad Logistic companies can be pretty good uh, Let's see and healing powder because it's a field hospital type of thing is really good I do need to focus early on fairly early on on improving Our base population so I've heard that I'm gonna think about that a little bit. I will go for the protectrons eventually but, actually, that might not even be really needed. Huh. Maybe not. Actually, maybe I won't go under prote Protectrons. Uh, let's see. Air power. I could do Scrap Fighters. Are those worth it? Interception and air superiority. Well, actually, I might, I might do that. Naval stuff. You don't do so much with naval stuff. Um, engineering. We're already researching what we can at the moment. It's only June 2275, so not that far ahead. From what I see from agriculture versus manufacturing, I don't want to lose more production and efficiency growth. Even though this does give you 20% factory output and 20% max factories in a state. This gives you a slightly more recruitable population. You can only get 15 max factories in a state and only 10% more factory output, but... I don't want to lose efficiency growth, which isn't really a debuff, but I do like more population. So... Uh, extraction, resource efficiency game, we're okay right now. Monthly population, actually. Uh, 3% more right now. That could turn into a much better benefit in the, in the long run. Let's do that, and then we'll do some research fight. We'll research some scrapyard fighters. Right now, we're trying to finish up these bandits, of course, though. So, let's go and do that. So, like I said earlier, though, I will be trying to improve the NCR Rangers. So, right now, since we got a little bit of time... It's only four battalions, and right now I can only have... Ooh, actually, machine gun support might be really good. Oh, my goodness, yeah. That gives you quite a bit more defense. Slightly more supply, a little less organization. The organizations are really, already really good. Slightly more weight, slightly more uh, supply use. Piercing goes down just by a little bit, but quite a bit more defense. And soft attack goes up by 16. That's actually not too bad. Actually, I think I'm going to do that. And you get more defense overall, so that's pretty good. But like I was trying to say earlier, before I interrupted my own self, I'm going to try to get as many good 20 width NCR Ranger battalions. Or divisions, I mean. Divisions. Because they're actually pretty good. Compared to regular infantry, these spec ops are really pretty, pretty awesome. So, eventually I will make this a little larger once we get more army XP and I can improve the number of battalions I can actually field at one time. So, uh, just make your way down this way. You should be fine. Cool. 
So yeah, I will probably attack the Scorpions eventually. I have played it to the point where I have fought them. I have beaten them before, but they're actually kind of difficult to beat. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm a noob. Oh yeah, we also want to increase weekly war support because 3% war support really isn't good. Really isn't good. Focus on patriotism, weekly war support, research intellectual support. Uh, yeah, output's nice, but 10% consumer goods, not great. Weekly stability, yeah, we can begin a scavenging program. Let's see, civilian factories. Uh, let's see. Oh, outposts are actually really cool, in my opinion. Um, we shouldn't technically lose any land if we're expanding into the scorpions. But the way I play this against the scorpions is, is okay, I suppose. Not great. And since, uh, you know what? Since these guys are these or Colonel Cassandra Moore, who's injured, is basically all the way down here and already pushing. I don't think we need this other army here under Hamlin. So. I'm gonna go ahead and sit you guys, station you guys around here. But it will be a goal of mine for me to get more rangers. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I think that'd be great. Militarized society. Less stability. But more weekly war support. Jackals, desert rangers. Jackals are in ass. I did hear that there is a civil war that could spawn in the New California Republic eventually, so I'm a little concerned about that, just because I don't really have a ton of experience with this mod, like I said, but ooh, we need anti-personnel stuff. So we need some machine guns. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, just take one factory off, so at least we're producing a few pipe machine guns. Cool, the capital fun. Got two more civilian workshops, great. I will have to go with Wendell Peterson's War. I'm probably going to end up choosing the Ranger Ranger General so I can get Mossman. Even though I do lose a little bit of population. But I get more organization, which isn't terrible. Um, expand the NCR Academy. Old World Vision, or Wisdom. Experiment with armor. Basic power armor, huh? Um, arms. Actually, military factories wouldn't be bad. The Gamma Corps. Elite Infantry, that's pretty cool. Sp oh, Spec Ops. Oh, yeah. I want some of that. Ranger reorganization. Population. The Boneyard. You get two more civilian factories. Not bad. Not great. Resources to market. And the Bear Roars. Complete the focus. Expand the NCR Military Academy. Definitely want to get to Mossman. So, NCR... Eh, 25. That's not great. I could really use the arms workshops immediately. Just because I need a few more civil few more military factories right now, so. Alright, let's go ahead and redo this. There you go. Pop. Go ahead and let them organize themselves just real quick if we can. Gotta love coffee. I got some coffee right here. Ooh, Ohm's Law is done. Research speed is improved. Combat language is even better now. Electronics. Uh, research speed, reinforce rate. Better decryption as well as encryption sound pretty important. 1.19 political power a day. Alright, go right ahead, guys. Produce consumer goods. Nah. Yeah, Fallout 1. I never played Fallout 1 or 2. New Vegas outro intro occurs after mod start. Disable backstory decisions. Huh. Oh, with holotapes. That's right. Cool. Very awesome. Oh, Caesar's Legion has finished off the Twisted Hears. I think they were over here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. I did, I have checked out the subreddit just a little bit concerning this mod, and apparently the next step for them is to add more stuff to Mexico, but they eventually want to get to coast to coast, which is actually really cool. Really, really cool, but we'll, we'll see what happens with this mod. I'm not going to say it's going to die, but I'm just kind of interested in what what will happen with this, so let's see. Right now, we can get a ruthless capitalist, less resource efficiency gain, but we get way more r factories back. Can we spare... Resources, maybe? I don't know. Um, what do we have for generals? Ooh. Special Forces Capacity Multiplier. Colonel Royas looks all-American badass. Looks pretty good. War Hero. More weekly war support. Um, I think that's really good. I can always change them out later, because I could definitely, definitely use more weekly war support, so... Mm, very good, very tasty. Love it, coffee. Love it, love it. Legacy of Navarro. 
Tribal huts. Month ah, good. More monthly population. Good. And then, reference manual. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and start researching the scrap fighter, because we could probably use some planes in the future. Oh, and I also want to make sure that I will get some sort of, like, anti-tank eventually. Because I've heard that's really, really important. Um, when you have to fight people who have power armor. So, not sure where anti-tank is. I thought it might be under support companies. Oh, you do have laser rifles that do... Do do some piercing and heart attack. Dynamite. No. Fire gecko pouch. No. Oh, I mean, it's right here, I guess. Well, I'm stupid. Yeah, it's right there, of course. So that's good. Good to at least know where that is. Um, but I'm have to. Oh. Eh, better reinforce rate. Better research speed. 137 days isn't bad, but. Uh, you know what we could do? We can do logging camps. Get more resource efficiency gain, and then we can choose Alice McLafferty, which kind of helped negates the effect of this. So, so we get more factories for us. I love it. I love factories. I love the Republic. I love democracy. Oh no, I love democracy. I love the Republic. Oh, oh my good, my goodness. Genius, genius speech. Oh, I love Palpatine. Anyways, um, let's see. Emporium of Armaments. Well, let's do expand the NCR Military Academy next. So then that way we can go immediately to the Bear Roars to get Mossman's army. Well, we can't do that quite yet because we have still choose a Ranger General. But this will still be good to do and get done. What are the losses? We've lost 14 guys. They've lost over 1,000. Not bad. Oh, an offer from the Brotherhood. Uh, they're offering to trade a number of advanced pre-war military discs and training guides in exchange for a series of pre-war industrial machines located within our territory. How do we respond? Go ahead and get them running anyways. We get more land doctrine speed. And if we can refuse them. I don't know what this is going to happen if, if I choose either one, but information is power. This sounds nice, and we get faster land doctrine speed, so let's get the lexicon of tactics. We'll work with the Brotherhood of Steel right now. If we have to backstab them later, or they backstab us, probably going to happen. Hmm, electricity, power station, boundary. Anything here? Oh, wow. Uh, spec ops. I mean, there are a few planes that we'll be going through. Oh, I can't research that. Okay. But we have this. We have spec ops. Yeah, I can't research the hills. Oh, maybe I have to unlock something first. That's probably what's up. I have to unlock something first. Um, but dum but dum bum 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 bum. Modern chemicals, that's not bad. I might choose this just because manpower is, and I guess woman power technically too because of this mod, are very important. I don't know what to do for this stuff. Uh, maybe I'll choose operational integrity. But we don't have any planes just yet. Um, 133 days. Get some better research speed, why not? It's a little bit ahead of time, whatever. Awesome, awesome! And we finished instantly so just go ahead and take all states for now great the war is over and a war will probably begin soon enough yay more factories actually that's really good hmm how should I use these factories I need more weaponry but I could use definitely just a tiny bit more support equipment which will be fine on so yeah to get more guns very nice and of course we have to rebuild a few factories as well so not too bad. So, probably our next stop is the Scorpions. That will get us to the Mojave Raiders, and then the Mojave Brotherhood. Vault 3, huh? Boulder City. And then New, New Vegas is up here, huh? There's New Vegas. Ah, love it. Love Fallout New Vegas. Broken Coast. Declared one Haida Confederation. Uh... Oh, is that it? No, the Troll Warren. Hide a confederation. Is it over here? Scorpion Bites. Vipers. Desert Rangers. Maybe it's further south. No. Two Sons. Pecos Colony. Oh. Rib Breakers was annexed. Troll Warren has won. Alright. Well, whatever. Broken Coast. Oh, there's Broken Coast. Ha hang Dogs. Declared War on the Weather Dogs. Uh, dogs are killing each other. Hmm. Go figure. Anything else I can do for war propaganda? Nice, we're getting a pretty decent amount of war support now. That's actually not too bad. 
up with their dogs, hang dogs over are over here. And what is this? Is this Utah? Or this might be Nebraska. Nebraska might be up here. Maybe it's Colorado area. Um, New Hammond. Kaiser's Legion declared war on the hang dogs. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Oh, you attack them from behind, huh? Produce consumer goods, weekly stability. I mean, if I do this, I could get more stability now. Yeah, it'll lower weekly war support. We do get a bonus or an increase of weekly war support at the moment. Uh, more stability, because I will probably take a hit to stability later on, especially as we keep going to war with other people. So that's actually probably not a terrible thing to do right now. Not terrible. Daily command power gain. Um, let's see, NCR Rangers. I can make you up to 12, but that's not optimal combat with division, but... Wait, that only gives you six more soft attack. Gives you quite a bit more HP. Huh. Well, good enough, whatever. And that's as many as I can make, because I'm out of uh, battalions for that. NCR Troopers, you're only 16 combat width. So I'm probably planning on making them seven infantry battalions and then two machine gun brigades as well, because this will really help your soft attack and defense. It'll definitely lower their organization and reliability, but I think over time this will probably pay off. I could be completely wrong, though. I could be absolutely wrong. Actually, anti-tank support, is that not too bad? Gives you a little more defense, quite a bit more soft attack, and more hard attack. Add in the machine gun support right now. We probably can't even support that. Oh... Anti-personnel. Well then. Do that, yeah. Definitely do that. Alright, not bad, not bad. You know what I want to do? I want to make sure that we actually repair these things as fast as possible, because we could probably use these. As well as this. Go ahead and just repair these as fast as possible. Expand the NCR Military Academy. Great. Great, great, great. The bear roars. Nice. We can do that. But then we can't do any of these because we need Wendell Peterson's war. Not popular president by any means, but he does have the military's loyalty, which is good. Uh, he began planning large-scale expeditions. He need, But to do this, he needs approval of Congress, means pandering to major political parties. Of course, nothing says progress like pandering to political parties. Oh, great. Uh, Wendell Peterson. All right, so... Wendell Peterson believes, above all other things, that the future of the NCR lies in the East. Raiders, tribals, and legendaries be damned. To this end, he has spent much of his first year in office drumming up support for the Ambitions Mojave Expedition, which is meant to bring as much of Southern Nevada and California under the NCR's control as possible. Yet, in order to make such a dream a reality, he's going to have to deal with various political parties. Each pushes their own agenda, and each wants to put their own figurehead in the most ambitious post in the NCR's military. Yet it is only with the support that Peterson can gain the congressional votes he needs to launch the expedi expedition, and I don't know where this accent came from. Um, so, obviously this is going to really severely affect us. I like that they have a picture actually from the game. Really cool. Uh, Hero of the Navarro. Hero of Nevada. Mossman. Daglo's Choice. Awesome. And, of course, this does increase the popularity of technocracy, but that's okay. I want to get to opening long 15 as soon as possible, though. So, that'll be good. Mm, 60 days supply consumption. Well, we get more army XP right now. Even though that doesn't really affect us at all, so. Who believes in technocracy? We have the NCR Congress, which is people. We have Old World Party, which is intellectuals, which sound like communists. Barons are elites, and Boneyard Separatists are ruler. Okay, so no one's a technocracy. Cool. Improved draft standards. Uh, yeah, we lose a little bit of population, but we get more organization. And we're working on improving our population as much as possible. We don't even have a... M well, yeah, we don't have quite a, even a million people within our borders. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Appoint Ranger General Mossman. Awesome. Awesome, Mossman. Demobilizing just a tiny bit. We should have enough manpower, though, for whatever we do. 
And we can go ahead and do opening the long 15. The Raiders of Southern California have been a pain in the side of the NCR for decades and so close to the capital as well. If Peterson's expedition is to su succeed, we must they must be driven out. And the long 15 must be open. Absolutely. What was the other one? The Rapids? I could have gone to war with the Rapids instead. Oh, their clan, their ruler. They have a lot of... Oh, that's a lot of population. They're neutral. Um, Non-core manpower, division speed, max entrenchment. Interesting. Very interesting. How many divisions do the Scorpions even have? Hang dogs were annexed. 15 to 25. That got quite a bit of manpower. Huh. My divisions, they are lacking machine guns. As well as some infantry equipment. Hmm. Coffee's pretty good. Anti tank is going okay. We will definitely need that. Twin mothers. Need those for our own guys here. Um, I don't want to cause too much of a supply issue. Let's see. Where's the best place to attack? Probably planes. Desert probably really sucks. Doesn't hurt you too much attacking over here. But mountains? Um, yeah, we're going to avoid this side. We're probably going to station Hanlon. Probably like right here so we can help lead the attack through the center right there. We do have some motorized divisions. 16 combat width, not bad. We can go ahead and fix that, perhaps. If you can, throw on... Oh, APC battalions. What are these? We'll need APC equipment. Do I have APC equipment? I do have a little bit. Huh. But your speed goes down, which really doesn't matter too much. You get more defense, more soft attack. More HP, which is good. A little bit less speed, but more reliability. This defense... Oh, defense goes way up. I have enough. Actually, I don't have enough for APC battalions. And they do get a debuff when attacking in urban areas. Um, I'll be honest, I really don't know. So, for now, this just increases the amount of motorized that we need, which are just bikes and infantry equipment, which we don't have either. So, I'm sure someone's going to tell me, is APC better or motorized infantry? I'm, at this point, I'm just going to use motorized infantry. Nah, I'll get one thing of APC battalions. One thing. Let's do that. Get some recon. And I'm going to be out of equipment before we even start the war. Cool, this looks not very good. Ah, uh, gotta love it though. Cool. However, I'm probably just gonna bait the scorpions to attack me, so hopefully we can do okay. That's pretty much my plan. Declare war on them and then bait them into attacking me. So Desert Rangers, Vipers, ooh. Modify the government. Stability's pretty awesome. War support's pretty awesome. Less weekly stability for more war support. Um, eh, that's okay. I want to get rid of undisturbed isolationism, though. Alright, so we have probably a good amount of consumer goods. What can do for anything for military staff? More special forces, attack, defense, capacity multiplier, but higher training time. Oh man, this guy would give you even more population? Holy crap. Ah, oh, there's so many decisions you could have, I could have made. Capacity multiplier, defense, and attack. That'll come in handy when I attack. Uh, industrial concerns. Do I need 10% more? 39% of our civilian and military factories go to produce consumer goods. I can lower that by 10%. So I can get more civilian factories. So we can build more things in the future. Ooh. Hmm. Let's do that. Are we out of resource? Nope. Oh, that barely hurt us. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, oh my god, yes. It gave us like 12 things. or A good number of more factories. Oh, yes. Scrap fighters, nice. Even though I don't have the factories for that yet. That'll be nice. Ooh, scrap dive bomber. That'll come in handy. What is the range, though? It's probably not very good. Eh, 700. That's not bad. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, you only want to go down. Okay, then. I want that. That sounds like fun. And you know what? Since we have three separate lines working, I'm going to go ahead and start producing another military factory or arms workshop. So, don't want to build up there because that's already on the coast with the potential enemy. 
there's nowhere up north that has better infrastructure. Oh, actually, you have 40, but you're on the coast. I'm... We'll sacrifice one thing to build that. Cool. They'll be done in May for a single factory. All right, so be it. All right, not bad. Not bad. Vault City cleared. We're on the Pale Folks. Vault City. That sounds, that sounds very familiar. Pale Folks. Ooh, Resistor. Nice. Resistor? I hardly know her. Vault City, Pale Folk. Reinforce rate. It is... Oh, it is 76. That's true. Um... Ooh, more... Oh, yeah. I want more construction speed. I'm a big believer in construction speed. But, oh... Max factories in a state. Ooh, I, I don't know. I've heard that actually the NCR cannot go advanced for some reason. So, I want ever to be able to get up here. I don't like the debuff that gives you negative efficiency growth, but I do like the civilized part where, the part here in agriculture where you do get more recruitable population, which could help us because we did lose 5%. So tell me in the comments below, I'm not going to choose it right now. Should I go for agriculture or manufacturing? What do you think I should do? So, uh, In the meantime, I'm going to get more construction speed because I love constructing things. I love building. I love democracy. I really love it more, though, when it only works for us. But, you know, whatever. And we have logging camps. Nice. Very good. Uh, hmm. Don't need that yet. Engineering stuff. Reinforce rate will come in handy. Do we have anything for infantry? Oh! All infantry and motorized and mechanized more defense and breakthrough sounds like a good thing, even though 3% doesn't really sound like a big old thingy, my bob. Alright, so we can go to war with the 15 or the scorpions. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to probably save the war against the scorpions just for a little bit longer, so we'll start the next episode in the war against them. Because I want to start doing Mossman's Army so I can get a couple buffs before we do or commit to another. War. Excuse me, war. So. And we do have, apparently, this national spirit. Opening long 15, the scorpions get an attack bonus against country. 20%, 10% defense bonus. Alright. So, I do want to try to... I want to try to buff my rangers as much as I can before we go to war. So, that's really my goal. Yes, I can do that. Um, Honestly, from what it sounds like... I'm going to probably need more infantry, just because I've heard that the Brotherhood might attack you eventually. Obviously, you'll get into war with Kaisar's Legion. And then, yeah, there's a lot of other smaller states that will not be super friendly to us. And besides, I don't want to go to war with anyone yet, because we need a lot of equipment. A lot of anti-personnel stuff, a lot of infantry equipment, which we're actually doing pretty well on now. Need a few more APC units, whatever. So once we're out of our deficit of infantry equipment... I will go ahead and put some more factories or arms workshops on the machine guns. So those will be very important for us to conduct war effectively. Ooh, to Toho no Nation. To no. Yeah. Bear Roars. Nice, nice, nice. A little more army XP. And there we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do this. Mechanized core. Ooh. Screw that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, infantry equipment, reliability, and soft attack. Let's go with Mossman's Army next, just because I'm going to focus very hard on the Spec Ops. Very, very hard. Very, very hard. Uh, let's see. Still a couple days here. How is our building construction going? It's almost May. We finally have another arms manufactory, which is good. Oh, can't wait. I can add that immediately to pipe machine guns. Here, electrics, industrial... Volunteer only, export focus, military staff, rangers. Because I'm going to focus very heavily on the ranger divisions, uh, this is probably probably one of the best things we can do, just more attack, more defense, capacity multiplier. Yeah, that'll probably be best right now. So now we can probably actually add on more rangers. Nice. Now it doesn't give us a ton more soft attack, but gives us a little, a little bit more hard attack, a little bit more defense, a little more breakthrough. A little more organization, recovery rate isn't that much better, suppression is a little, little better. It, hmm, is it better to maybe just have more NCR Ranger divisions than better infantry divisions? Nah, probably not. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
But, and if I'm making a mistake, please let me know in the comments below. So, I might regret this. I might not. Should I add machine gun brigades? This would definitely help us. These can be pair drops. What if I did that? Oh, that's too much. Ooh. What if I switched it with this? Machine gun brigades. You'd lose some HP. You'd lose quite a bit of organization. You would gain 58 more soft attack. And 33% more defense. Hmm. You know what? I already have 16 here. I'm going to leave it like that. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. Since we're near, basically at the end of this video. Because I will attack probably in the beginning of the next video. So, should I add or create my infantry and my spec ops divisions to have 7 regular infantry or 7 regular spec ops battalions. And then 2 machine gun brigades. Or should I just go for my spec ops? All spec ops, nothing else. That's my question to you. So... With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. We've beat and finished off Baja California. Pretty easy. We are prepared to go to war with the Scorpions, which will be actually probably a little bit of a challenge. And, yeah, we're just kind of watching how the the wasteland is turning and turning and turning and developing into a great, great place to live. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new. And, we, and I will see you tomorrow as we strike the Scorpions. Thanks for watching.